This is Norm from Norm Line Films. This is January 22nd, 2010. I'm standing down on the walkway on Front Street, or just below Front Street. And uh, this little short film is about uh, tearing apart this beautiful old bridge and replacing a lot of those timbers on the top. This is the Quinnell Fraser River Bridge. It's an old wooden structure that's been around for about 80 years. And uh, the mayor, uh, Mary Schustrom, um, I think got a loan from the federal government, I believe, for $1.7 million for refurbishing this. And the city, I think, is going to chip in another 400,000 to refurbish this. So all those wooden um, trusses on top and all the decking, I believe, is going to be replaced. <coughs> but uh, this film is just to show the progress so far. They shut this bridge off to, this is just a walking bridge now, eh? Um, people walk from West Quinnell over there to uh, downtown Quinnell over here, eh? So um, you get the idea of where we are here, but this is just to show the progress. So we'll see what they've got for scaffolding here. They're, they seem to be stringing scaffolding all the way across underneath the bridge. You can see some of the progress. Bitch of these guys are not loving their job. They're hanging all those pieces of scaffolding under there to put a safety railing under there. I guess to catch a lot of the debris that happens when you start ripping an old structure like that apart. You don't want it uh, falling into the river, right? Eh? You can see the beautiful river ice flowing down. You know what time of year it is anyway, eh? So, uh, this is the progress so far. They've got the scaffolding under here. Quite a ways, I guess. How would that be? About 60 feet so far. And they're, uh, they've got a long ways to go yet. I think they've started over at the other side, too. They've got to the first pillar. As you can see, over that's on the west side of, of the Fraser River, eh? Sorry about the handshake here, it's a little cool today. I think the parts that go over the center of the river are going to be the most interesting, because boy, if anybody drops in there, it's going to be chilly. So, I'll just take a little walk through here. I feel like you're right there, eh? You can even hear the noise. you're wondering what that noise is, they have to rip a lot of aluminum off. Aluminum covers that were put on these beams. You can see right there. That's what they're doing, eh? Oops, sorry. That's um, what they're doing there, is ripping the aluminum cover off. Eh? Oh, guys, you can wave. There's a lot of that put on the structure over the years to uh, keep the wood protected a bit. Eh? It was all across the top there. I saw them ripping it off this morning. That's why I decided to do this film. It doesn't seem like anybody else is down here taking pictures or films. So I thought I would preserve this moment because this is uh, a job that is not done just the first time in 80 years. I mean, they have replaced a lot of the decking. And 
of like big six by eight planks. They've replaced a lot of that over the air because obviously they don't want people falling through the deck. This is the, um, the first time, as far as I know, that these, these top, uh, I call them X beams. And uh, I mean, pretty well, I think from what the plan was, uh, pretty well they're going to replace just about all of the top structure of that bridge. I'm just amazed at that, you know, if they start ripping that apart, but it, parts of it don't collapse. Because it is pretty old, eh? Just cut off the car traffic a few years ago because they were worried about the weight on the, uh, the wooden structure. Because eh? I think 99% wood, except for those concrete posts and some of the metal covering the uh, covering the um, the tops of the uh, beams. Eh? On Front Street now, going towards the sun, which I didn't know I did. This is the entranceway to the wooden bridge. See, they've heard about that. There's a truck going by. You can see by this cage here, they don't want anybody wandering out onto the bridge. Eh? There's a lot of foot traffic that goes over this bridge during the day. It's amazing. Must be a lot of people in. Uh, West Cornell, they don't have cars. So they uh, they protect everything, and of course they have to have one of those. I think we all know what that is. There's the construction from, from here. Got that long extension thing to get up to the beams there. But, um, I'll come down and film at different times and add them on YouTube as I see um, progression with the work that's being done. So uh, I'll leave this as one film and you'll probably see a few more of these short films as the work progresses. It's a little higher view. You can see the decking they're putting underneath there. Eh? Imagine that's all going to be filled in. Or maybe it's just going to be used as a walkway. I don't know. I would think that they would want to keep anything from falling into the Fraser River to that. I would have the environmental, environmentalists all upset. The bottom of Reed Street, which is just over there, you can walk up the ramp. A lot of people do use it. Uh, you know, otherwise it just bridge reconstruction. But most of the time this walkway is open. So I'll just give you a quick show. See that? If you don't have that railing there, these people, all they got to do is just trip and you're in front of the car. So they decided to put this railing up here to keep people out of this traffic. As you can see, that, that would uh, cause you a great amount of harm if you fell in. So that's what it's all about, isn't it? This is, uh, I am standing on the walkway in the Moffat Bridge, and that's uh, in relation to where I am. This is the, uh, the bridge under refurbishment over there, or the Cornish water wheel. Okay, I'll see you next time when I uh, see what changes have been made, and then I'll... Uh, I'll probably um, put it on YouTube too.